Okay, stand behind us here is the ground storage tank. Um, once the water goes through our um, hydrogen sulfide takes it out, the ozone, the sodium hypochlorite, and all our chemicals, this is where the water is at before it re releases to the city. Each one of these tanks here behind us holds 1.5 million gallons of water. So we're able to keep a supply of water on demand. In case something happens, we have a fire, we got plenty of water to be able to provide the city to put that fire out and, and, and plus people drinking water. Whatever the problem is, we always got enough water to be able to supply. These pumps here are also, these are high service pumps. We have four high service pumps and two low service pumps. These pumps are the one that actually pumps that water, leaving those ground storage tanks to the city. Um, according to how much the pressure is, if people are using a lot of water, we might go only like one pump, but the more water people are using, we might go to one pump and one high and two low service pumps. It depends on what the pressure is. Um, so we keep pressure around a 65, 67 PSI uh, pretty much all day long. And um, because if there is a fire, we want to make sure we got pressure enough to be able to put that fire out for whatever the you know the case is. So, but these are big tanks here. We got a third one on the back end, which was in 2007, was added. We only had two of these before then. So we actually have three ground storage tanks now that each hold a million and a half gallons. Any questions? So that's about a half a day's worth of water. Yes. That's in addition to the other three above ground tanks that we have right. throughout the city. Right. So we also have that two million gallon across the way and then two other ones in the city. So we have more than enough to cover at least the day supply or more of the you water. You got two million, then the Gonto's a million, and then you got the high school's 500,000. So yeah. and there's plenty of water to be able to supply. And that's when people, that's just regular everyday use, not rationed use, you know? That could last a lot more for just drinking. And one thing people don't understand we do, you got all that water sitting there, which is all the chlorine and the ozone sitting in that tank. And, you know, what can happen is if you keep those tanks slammed full, there's no turnover in that water. So that water just stagnates. things. So what we try to do is bring the level down and then pump more water, fresh water in. That way you got a better turnover in the tank. You got fresh water to go out to the city. And the citizens aren't drinking that water just sitting there in those tanks for that for a period of days. Another factor that people, you know. Yes. Yeah.